Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from the Nashua, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, we have had such a crummy weather day and I'm not taking responsibility for any of it. I have to tell you, holy cow, it is rainy and 90 mile an hour winds here. Well, maybe that's being a little over dramatic, but it's really windy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like crazy outside. And I noticed we need to get a new flag because we just need to get a new flag. How is everybody doing tonight? It takes so long for my computer to come up when I am streaming from Zoom. And I'm sorry, I'm just a few minutes late, but I, I got to get this together on how long it takes me to actually start this Facebook Live through Zoom because it takes a long time. Like I, there's so many different things I have to do and set up. It's like, holy cow. So I see that I am live, but I have no comments coming in. So, oh, I see people are here, yay. Okay, so we've got Kay from Boise is here. Sharon says they've gotten eight inches of rain since Friday night. That's a lot of rain. Holy cow. I'm just looking at all your comments here, you guys. And who else do I have here? We've got Mary and Sharon and Heather from Alma Center. I know where that is. <laughs> Wendy Sue is here and Kathy Showalter. Welcome, you guys. So yeah, it's really weird. When you do um, a Facebook Live through Zoom, it takes a while for Zoom to connect with Facebook. And then by the time I get here, like tonight, by the time my screen opened up so I could see what was going on, I had 250 people on already. So I'm not catching those first people that are coming in, which is kind of like a huh, little crazy. Anyways, I'm happy to be here tonight. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We did have a really nice weekend. Um, Steve opened up the pool. Yay! So excited. Of course, I'm so excited about that every year. You know, he tears everything down. He takes the whole pump apart and puts stores it all in the garage. He's like Mr. Maintenance. And uh, I'm grateful for that, but sometimes it's annoying. So anyways, um, he put the whole pump together and got the pool running, which was fantastic. And what else? Got the um, pad uh, dug out for the new concrete that we're going to pour in the backyard. Filled in holes with all the dirt that him and Jared dug up. So that was cool. I think I talked to you guys about this on Friday because that was happening there then, I should say. And what else? Oh my gosh, just so many things got accomplished. I got a swap cut and ready for assembly because I have to have a swap out in the mail tomorrow with the new catalog stuff. And guys, I was using this paper. Can I just say delicious? I'm so excited. I can't wait to share that card with you. And I'll be doing that pretty soon. Let's see. Today is the 17th. So we've only got about, well, um, just a little bit, two and a half weeks before our new catalog goes live. Now, for those of you that have not received a catalog yet, most, I, I shouldn't say most, but demonstrators are just kind of receiving their catalogs right now. I know that across the pond in other parts of the world, demonstrators had their catalogs like two weeks ago and that kind of started freaking people out. Don't be freaked out. If you have placed at least a $50 order with me in the last six months, you're on my mailing list to get a new catalog and that will be coming to you I would say Stampin' Up! said kind of mid-May, but I'm thinking, you know, I shouldn't say I'm thinking, in the next two weeks, you'll have a catalog. So that's really cool. If you're new to me and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please feel free to email me at kelly at astampabove.com and request a catalog. Don't forget to put your address in there and I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Um, you're going to love them. All this new stuff, this new paper is just amazing. I had a really good time creating a card with it. Can't wait to share. Can't wait to share that. What else is happening? I wanted to remind Kelly Guy, um, I still don't have an address from you. So you need to get in touch with me if you want your prize. And I do keep these for about two weeks waiting for people to get me their address when they win. And if I don't hear from them by then, they, this goes back into the drawing to be won by somebody else. So I hope Kelly 
watches one of these and um, can get me her address. We have some winners from last week. What did I do with those names? Yep, right here. Okay. I feel a little discombobulated tonight because I had my Facebook Live for tonight ready on Friday. And so we might bumble through some of it because you guys know I have like the worst memory in the world. And even though it's just been Friday, I've done so many things since then to go back to that and remember how to make everything just like I did on Friday is like, oh my Lord, right? It's a personal problem. We all have our issues. That's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I have um, prizes to give away for number one, commenting. So if you're just coming on here, please make sure you leave at least one comment in the comments section, whether you just say hi or, you know, hi from Boise, Idaho, or whatever the case may be, or ask a question later, but make sure you leave at least one comment so you can get entered in that drawing. Our winner today is going to get a roll of this beautiful textile ribbon. And this is um, quarter inch, let me see. This is the Mint Macron quarter inch textile ribbon. And if you'll recall, what, what card did I make with it? Oh, right here. On Friday, I shared with you guys my online technique club card. And we made this, and this is the ribbon that I used underneath my little um, my little banner. It's really backwards here for me to see what I'm doing. So <laughs> that's why I'm like, <laughs> Anyways, our winner for leaving a comment is Sherry Yates of Lodi, California. Sherry, I'm gonna be sending this ribbon out to you. So congratulations. And then for sharing this video, you can click on the share button right now um, whether you're on Facebook now, watching on Facebook later, click that share button that really helps me out, or watching on YouTube later. Share, share, share my video. That's really helpful in helping me grow my business, and I super, I'm super, i super appreciative of that. I have a hammered metal embossing folder, and if you'll remember, I think I showed you guys this stuff on Friday. This was donated by Terry Mullinex. Thank you, Terry. Um, she had some extra products that she wanted to give to me to give away. So this is a beautiful, beautiful folder. You're going to love it. And our big winner is, oh, sorry. Oh, my Lord. Hang on. Gilmore, you won the ribbon for commenting. I'm so sorry. You won the ribbon for commenting. I'll be sending that. Gilmore Demink, and she lives in Michigan. Our commenter sharer oh my goodness i don't even know anymore is sherry yates from lodi california sherry sorry gilmore sherry isn't this hard all this drawing stuff is a lot of work i'm <laughs> just kidding get it together kelly and then for placing an order last week i have one of these stamp sets oh my gosh this goes with that label me lovely punch and the other one that I can never remember what it's called, but we had two new punches. Um, let me grab that quick. Oh, my cart is backwards. I have that other punch here. Okay, this is the this is the label me fancy punch, and then the label me lovely punch we're going to be using tonight. Our winner for this stamp set is Wendy Dembach of Dublin, California. So we had two Californias winning tonight. Congratulations, Wendy. Gilmore, Sherry, Wendy. And I have it written down here so I won't mess it up. I promise. Oh my Lord. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. That was okay. And let's see. Um, I did get some mail. I'm headed under my desk. You know, that's where I keep a lot of my most valuable things under my desk. So let's go through some fun mail here. Oh my gosh, this card is just the cutest little thing ever. Hang on, I have to get the little insert out. Uh-oh, oh, here it is, okay. So this is from, oh, Becky, your last name isn't on here. This is from Becky. I'm gonna put it back together so I can. And I think the envelope that came in is gone, yeah. Okay, anyways, this is from Becky. Look at how cute this is. Is this not the cutest thing? Yeah. 
and it says you make life bearable. How cute is that? Oops, let me see if I can get it all in the screen here. Mm, there we go. Whew, hard stuff. <laughs> Isn't that the sweetest thing? Oh my gosh. And I'm going to leave this up here. It says, Kelly, thank you for your daily Facebook lives. Oh, this is from, this is from um, Becky Miltenberger. Now I remember. Thank you for making your daily Facebook lives. I enjoy getting to relax and watch you create beautiful cards. It helps take my mind off of everything going on at work on a daily basis. Being a nurse during these times is quite stressful and you are a ray of sunshine. I thought you might enjoy this glue holder. Now, did you see where I put my glue? Ha <laughs> ha. Do I, do I say that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. This bright pink should help you find it a little easier. Have a great day. Thanks again for your fun shows. Oh my gosh, Becky, that is too cute. And look at what she sent me. Yes, this is a glue holder. And I love, love, love the pink. And I think it definitely will help me find my glue. As long as I put it back in there, right, Becky? Anyways, thank you so much for this adorable card. This is just the sweetest thing. I love it. We have a card here from <laughs> Pamela Hale. I just read the back of Pamela's um, envelope. Look how pretty that envelope is. And it says, snail sealed, not spit. Remember, we, we had a whole conversation about licking envelopes. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. Love, love, love this card. I love. She's got these flowers raised up here. I think you can see that pretty well there. That is just so pretty. And she put Wink of Stella on it. I don't know if you can see that, if it's going to, yep, you can see it glisten right around, whoops, the middle of the flowers here. This is so, so pretty. And this is from Pam Hale. And it says, the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. She says, you are a friend I have never met. So I love that. I love when people say that. You're my friend, but I've never met you. I have a lot of friends like that. Look at how cool her handwriting is. Like, I just thought, oh my goodness, your handwriting is just so perfect. It says, I feel so blessed to have found you about six weeks ago. I have been a demonstrator for almost three years now. I feel my card making has been... Um, Re something <clears throat> since I found you, you, um, hang on. You have shown me things that I would never have thought of myself. I hope you don't mind me tagging along with your team. You have been a bright spot in my day. I love hearing stories of your family and I have so enjoyed getting to know you and little Miss Val. Thank you for all you do and may God bless you and your family from Pam Hale. Pam, thank you so much. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And here comes another fun one. This is Jean Wilson. Look at Jean's card. I think I, I, I'm gonna show you guys how to do one of these. This is really, really fun. And it just brings me back. One of my team members, Gina Bulo, demonstrated this at our, tem at our team meeting a couple months ago, and I was going to make one, and then I kind of forgot about it. So look how cool that is. These are really quite easy to make. I can't wait to show it to you. It says, kindness is always in style. Thank you for making a difference in my life. And oh my gosh, that's from the By the Dock stamp set. So very cool. And Jean says... I wanted to send a great big thank you your way. I am rather new to, I am a rather new SU demonstrator. Jean just recently joined my team and I love watching your videos. I have learned so much about design layout and stamping technique. Your Facebook lives daily have been amazing. I always look forward to what you will do next. You are a bright spot into my day. You send so much positive spirit out to your viewers. Thank you. Congratulations on baby Valerie. You are such a wonderful grandma. Your light and joy shine whenever you, you refer to her. You are a true blessing, and I am so grateful that you choose to share your talents with us. Fondly, Jean. And she's from Williamsville, New York. And look, she has really cool handwriting, too. 
Like it's really neat. Very good handwriting, people. <laughs> Beautiful cards. Thank you so much. That was so fun. Now I have one more thing to share with you. Look at this great big envelope I got. And it's all decorated here. Look at, look at how she decorated this. This is a really cool way to decorate a package, right? I thought, whoa, what is all this prettiness? Okay, so most of it is, look at this. This is for Haley, Jared, and Valerie. How cute is this? So I'm gonna be giving this to them and maybe I'll keep it and show you what it is. I won't let them take it home because I kind of do that. <laughs> I'm going to set that right over there. And then I got this gorgeous, gorgeous card. Hang on a second. And I need to bring this back in here. Oh, this is from Denise Nibblink. Look at how pretty this is. I love edgelets. I know I've told you guys this before many, many times. This is an edgelet. And it does an edge thing. And I look at how there's gold on this card underneath. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just a really neat way to use that edge lid? I love them. Okay, Denise says, your kindness is so loved. As a grandma, you are rocking it. Thank you. It's been really fun. Um, thank you for sharing your joy with us. Valerie already knows she is blessed with the best grandma. Also, thank you for... Um, helping us stay grounded during these trying times. Your cards are the best. Denise, and then it says, P.S. Share the sour patches with Haley while you watch movies and relax. And look what she sent for Haley and me. Nah, I was so excited. More sour patches. We're never gonna run out. And that is awesome, right? Because it always seems like I need the sour patches when I eat the popcorn when I don't have them. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. And she also um, decorated that envelope with some of that ornate garden designer series paper. Very, very pretty. I'm going to set this back here. I'm going to put this over here for Haley and Jared. I'm sure I'll be seeing them in the next couple of days. I didn't see them today, but I did see them Friday night. No, I think it was Saturday night. I can't even remember. I don't know. But anyways, I did see them in the last couple of days and Val, of course, is doing great. She's um, getting stronger and kicking her little legs around and oh my gosh, she's just so cute. Um, Lisa asks, what about Jared? What does he eat for movies? Well, he does eat the popcorn. Um, I'm not really sure, Lisa. I'll have to find out. He doesn't eat the sour patches with us though. That's just me and Haley. So I don't know. Good question. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Marlene says she heard the notification sound when she was in the garage. So she threw the groceries in her cart, ran, ran to the elevator, up four floors, up the hallway and in the door at 5.05. You are my priority. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. Well, make sure you don't twist an ankle, Marlene. Holy cow. That's funny. I love it. Good for you. I know there are things that take priority in, in life, right? That's one of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I think that's all I had to share with you. Um, you guys have a nice weekend, the rest of your Sunday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, hey, where's she going? So I have what I think is a really cool project. I am going to be playing with this cardstock tonight or I should say designer series paper. This is part of the ornate garden, beautiful gold embossed paper. And we're gonna be making six cards with it. What? Yeah, I'm excited. Now I have to say that I got the idea for this from one of my team members who sent me a card and it was Jody Peterson. And I thought, oh, I need to make this card. It's so pretty. And I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing how quick and easy this can be to make six cards in a jiffy. I'm going to be using a little bit of the ornate style stamp set. I just love the flowers in here, right? And then I'm also bringing in the birthday jubilee to use the sentiment down here that says celebrating you is the best. And I like that because if I need a birthday card, I can throw a birthday 
reading on it. If I need a thank you card, if I need a congratulations card, whatever kind of card I need, I can always celebrate someone. So that's why I chose that particular sentiment. So I'll have six cards that I can do whatever I want with when I need them. And you guys know I'm really a procrastinator, right? So having those last minute things done ahead of time that I can personalize with a greeting on the inside is really perfect for me because some days, I don't know about you, but I just can't get it together. <laughs> I just can't. And yeah, sometimes it seems to be more days than others that I can't get it together. But anyways, um, I'm also happy to report to you guys that I got all of my videos done, all nine videos done, edited, uploaded to YouTube into my um, country club online class file and out to everyone who ordered it at five minutes to midnight on the day I said it would be due. Boom. <laughs> like, could you please wait a little longer to meet your deadline? <laughs> Isn't that insanity? I don't know what goes on in the head that must create some type of a rush for me to procrastinate like that. There was absolutely no reason for it, none. But I got it done, yeah. I don't know if I should be ashamed or proud or maybe a little of both, I'm not really sure. Okay, we are going to be using, I've got all my stuff unloaded here. We're gonna be using, look at all these delicious colors. Oh, let me see if I can get that in there right, okay. We are going to be using Gorgeous Grape, Pacific Point, what is that one? Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, and I'm pretty sure I need Mango Melody too. I put that one away. So we have a pretty rainbow of colors. I think I'm going to flip you guys down to my desktop now. And let me go back to my Zoom and figure out how to do that. And now we're gonna spotlight that video. And I think we're ready to roll. So this is our gorgeous paper. And you're gonna get some glare from that light right there until I get this cut up. And I'm really sorry, but that's just kind of the way it goes. Okay, we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer in this big piece of um, designer series paper. So hang tight, let me get all my bits and pieces out here. And we got one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm missing one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I've got Poppy and Granny Apple and Pacific Point and Gorgeous Grape. Yeah, I don't have a Daffodil Delight, so maybe I'll have to work on that one. And hang on, because I took the dimensionals off the back of things. Let me grab a Daffodil Delight quick so we can do that too. Um, here we go. And of course, I don't have one cut and ready to go because I do in all my other papers because <laughs> I need it, right? That's like just Murphy's Law, isn't it? It's like, why can I just have one sitting there ready to go? So I'm taking and scoring that at five and a half, and then I'm cutting it at four and a quarter so we have a card base here. That's all I did. And then I've got card bases for the rest of my cards over on the side here. And my phone folder. Hang on, I'm going to take my little jacket off. I don't think that little bit of not having a yellow card base is creating the hot flash, but one never knows now that do they. <laughs> it should be okay. I decided that I was going to demonstrate for you the um, Mango Melody version of this card, and then we're going to put the rest of them together. So I have a card in all of those colors that I shared with you. And let me get back to my Facebook Live here. Okay, good, we're doing good. I've got um, a Whisper White. This is for the inside of my card. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I just got a scrap of the, um, you know, the um, Mango Melody. I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat here so we can do a little bit of stamping. Oops. Here's my Memento black ink pad. And I'm going to stamp that. And then we're going to punch it out with a punch. Oh, I'm like, that is missing. <laughs> it's here, don't worry. I was using this in the kitchen too. So 
Okay, and I am punching this out so that the flat part of my Label Me Lovely punch is on the top and the bottom, and that matters. So there we go. And you're gonna make six of these, okay? If you wanna do the whole rainbow. Then I think what I'm going to do is grab my Mango Melody ink pad and this beautiful floral image from the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And I'm going to, I'm just gonna bring in a piece of paper here so we don't have a big mess all over the place. I'm gonna stamp this right on the corner of my Whisper White layer. Now that's gonna go inside our card and that's just a really super easy way to decorate up the inside. And put some glue on there. Let's get that out of my way so I don't dip my card in it. Oh, thanks you guys for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it does help me. Don't forget to click on that share button if you came in late. That's a really big help too. Thank you, Kathy Fennell. You're so sweet. Okay, and as long as we have this out here, I have this piece of paper that I folded to decorate my envelope. And I think I found the, I've been using this big stamp for envelope flaps, but I think I found the way that um, is the easiest is to take the flower and stamp it kind of at an angle in the middle here. Okay, then I'm gonna ink it up again. And now I'm gonna bring it over and try and get it as close to that edge as possible. I'm gonna turn it around. And again, stamp as close to those flowers as I can. And I think I did pretty good, didn't I? Isn't that just so pretty? I love that look. Okay, so there's our envelope. Let me put this away and put, oh, I'm gonna need this, but not, well, okay, let's do that. I'm gonna bring in my paper cutter again, and we are going to, hang on a second. We're gonna cut our designer series paper at three and three quarters. I thought I had a cheat sheet here where I did all my measurements, but I don't. So five and a half by three and three quarters. So I'm gonna put this in at five and a half. And then we're gonna do five and a half again. Oh, and look at that leaves us, this, that leaves us one inch on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you could actually cut this at half inch increments. So hang on, we're gonna do that. So here's a half an inch off the end there. This I was just gonna to toss, but now I won't need to. And then we're gonna pull it back to five and a half to get another half inch strip. And that's just easier than working with a tiny little strip and trying to cut it. I back things off a lot when I'm, when I'm cutting paper. And now we're gonna cut these at three and three quarters, the whole page. And that's why I thought this was gonna be such a cool project tonight because you're gonna be making six different cards with one whole page of designer series paper. Oh, look, then we have that one too, okay. And again, three and three quarters by five and a half. Three and three quarters by five and a half. I talked to you guys about the one sheet wonder I made for my team meeting last week, and I will be sharing that with you as soon as I get a chance to sit down and make some stuff and I'll probably use new product. So that'll even be more fun, right? Okay, now we are going to make a rainbow. We're gonna use an emboss resist technique and I'm putting my um, inks in line here, just like Jody did them on her card. So here we go. We're gonna do gorgeous scrape first and then Pacific Point. And I've got little sponges over here now. If you have some type of a little tab punch, you can, you can punch your tab out, put it on your sponge, on your sponge wedge, and then staple it. Let me grab, here's Stampin' Up! Sponges. 
And what I do is I just take them. You get three of them in a package. They're pretty inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much they cost. But you take a pair of big scissors and you just cut them right in half. And then I cut them into thirds, just like this. So there's a half a sponge. And then I just throw them back in the bag until I need them. When you're done sponging with them, if you don't put that paper tab on them, you can actually take them into your sink and wash them out. But I don't even do that. Like I have some sponges here. This is green. I don't, I, it looks like pretty peacock, but because it's dry, it's gonna work fine in my green. I have yellow and this one, I didn't have a poppy parade one, let's see. And I need, I think I'll use that in here and I'll use this one here. And it looks like I need one more. Oh no, here's great. And then I'll use this one in the Mango Melody. But yeah, next time you place an order, get yourself some sponges if you don't have any. They're really nice to have and you use them for a whole bunch of different different ideas. And one of my favorites, I got, look at, I got ink all over. One of my favorites is an embossed resist technique. I like to do that. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. And we're going to get the rest of these open here. Yeah, so sometimes I'm just doodling around here. We had a really good weekend. I felt like there was, we got a lot accomplished. I am going to be working on getting my kits out the door tomorrow. I have two sets of online class kits that need to be sent out tomorrow. Oh, and I had a little child labor over here, punching and die cutting stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was fun. Okay, here comes our gorgeous grape. And we're going to just take this. And you want to be careful with the... Um, the designer series paper because it's not super uh, thick. So you don't want to scrunch it up when you're going back and forth. So here's our purple, okay? Put your sponge back in your ink pad too so you don't stick your sponge in the wrong color. That'll keep you from doing that. Here comes our Pacific point. And I actually had to message Jody and ask her what color she used because I thought they were so pretty. There was no reason for me to deviate from that as long as I had the same supplies. Sometimes when you guys send me stuff, I might change it because I don't have those supplies. So just so you know, it's not that I thought my idea was a better idea or liked it better or whatever. And sometimes I just like to show a variation. So I'll change colors and stuff with your ideas. So don't want anybody to feel like, oh, mine wasn't good enough because that's not a good feeling. And I would never, ever, ever feel that way. But I change it based on what I, I need or have or or, you know, I've already got yours in blue, so I want to make one in yellow or whatever. And then, copy parade. Okay, so I'll run down those colors again. And remember that all the dimensions and a list of ingredients is shown on my blog um, after I'm done with Facebook Live. And also, I usually put a description in up above the video when I'm done. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Now, one thing you can do with embossed resist, I just got a tissue here, is you can take and you can polish off that gold embossing and that'll just make it pop out a little bit more. And I think I want to go just a little bit darker. I think on the next card, I'll make my purple a little wider too. But look at how very, very pretty that is. Jean said she was reorganizing yesterday. She found a whole package of sponges. Yay, you, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's really, really pretty. Let me get this out of the way. Now, one thing you can do with these little pieces that are left over, you guys, is you can, like this is Mango Melody. So what color do I think? I think Poppy Parade. I'm just gonna do this whole thing in Poppy Parade. And we're going to trim it down to four inches and add it to the inside of our white layer. So right now, oh, well, we can't now. <laughs> okay, so I'll use it on a different one, but you could trim it down to four inches and add it on the inside of your card. So that's what you can do with these little scraps that are left over so you're not wasting them. 
All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this crinkled seam binding ribbon. Now, this was on back order forever. It was in the spring mini catalog. It is now back in stock. I highly recommend that you get some. The one thing I love about this is the ability to, I'm looking for Mango Melody here. That's Dark Daffodil. Here it is, I think. The ability for you to color this ribbon with your stamp and blend markers and you just take look at that it colors it perfectly so you can make this quarter inch crinkled seam binding ribbon any color you want and if you're looking for that in my online store that's all you have to do is type in crinkled seam binding ribbon and it will pop up in a search now i'm not going to color it because like Jody, I want to use white ribbon on my layer. So I'm going to take this, I can get a hold of it, and I'm just going to wrap it. Oh my goodness, maybe I'm gonna wrap this. <laughs> oh my Lord, it's giving me a hard time. I'm gonna wrap this right around my layer, about right here. And I'm going to tape it right in the front. You can tape it on the back. It doesn't matter. We've got a big label that's going to cover it up. So wherever you decide to tape your ribbon. There we go. Okay. And then where did that label go? Oh, um, did you guys see it? Oh, I didn't punch it yet. I need to, I did the white one though, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here we go. We're going to punch. We punched a white um, label me lovely. Now we're going to punch one out of the mango melody. And you're going to cut it from the straight end to the straight end. Okay, so our curls, curved ends are on the sides. And now we're going to layer this behind our punch just like this. So that gives it like a perfect frame on either side of the color that you're using, which I, I always love that technique. It just makes your punch so much more substantial. It helps it to um, pop on the, on the card so that it, it's really kind of highlighted. Now I'm gonna grab my dimensionals and we are going to Put these on here. And again, I like to place my dimensionals so that they're straddling my ribbon. I don't like them. Oops. To um, I don't like the dimensionals to be on top of my ribbon because then your layer flops around and that makes me crazy. Okay, so here we go with this. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is this is three and three quarters wide. You could put a four inch wide piece of whisper white under it. So you would have whisper white borders on both sides and that would really make this inside layer pop. That would be really pretty. Here comes our label. Oh my goodness, love, 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 love. And then I am going to take this ribbon and add a bow. And let me see, what did I, there they are. I'm going to do a triple bow. So this is a bow jig for those of you who may be new to me. It's nothing more than a piece of wood with holes drilled in it. People will ask me where to get one. We're not getting one. You're just drilling holes in a piece of wood. You can ask your neighbor, your husband, your father, your brother, your son. You can ask just about anybody to drill you some holes in a piece of scrap wood and make one of these. Um, I used to have a friend that made and sold these. So I would give people her information but she does not do that anymore and so just make yourself one ask one of your kids for it for birthday um for christmas for whatever just tell them you're their mom make me this <laughs> put your foot down but anyways these poles are one inch apart and then the other ones there's two more sets are half inch from these one inch ones i actually have a video on my youtube channel that will show you all the details about it and how to tie the ribbon that I just did. And if you're searching for that, you just go to my blog or to my YouTube channel. It's under Kelly Atchison and do a search for 
faux jig, J-I-G. Look at how cute that is. Are you guys just like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, and then Jody used these frosted clear epoxy droplets on her card. And I happen to have another pack here because I, I used quite a bit of the ones out of my other pack. You get two different sizes here. So I thought that would be a good idea. Oh, and I just gave, oh, I might have it here. Hang on, is my head in the camera? Maybe my girls are in the camera. Oh, I'm gonna use the spatula end of the take your pick tool. And I'm going to, oh, here's one that didn't wanna stay on the card. I'm just going to pop these around here. And I just think that's the perfect little embellishment. These are really cool. They're like really cool. Look at them. There's clear ones and frosted ones. Look at the frosted compared to the clear. Let's get a, some color under this. Look at how pretty they are. I love these. And again, these are called frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Love, love, love. Isn't that cute? Okay, so where'd our envelope go? Here's our envelope. Here's our card. And now the rest of this is going to be, whoops, I got to bring this back in here, coloring these pieces. So does anybody have any questions that I may have missed tonight or another night? Because we're going to be here together for a little while if you so choose. I'm not, that's, that's my project. I'm just going to get all these cards done and show them all to you when we're finished because I've got all of these card bases that we're going to make cards for. I've already got some of the stuff done. So all we need to do is do our rainbow on this beautiful ornate garden designer series paper. Thank you. Marjean says she loves my card and thank you for the class kit. Oh, good. Marjean received her kit. You're very welcome, Marjean. Woohoo. So what else happened this weekend? Um, we had really, really, really nice weather, I think on Saturday. Maybe it was Friday, but it was, oh yeah, Friday, because I took credit for summer starting in Wisconsin. If you guys missed that, my um, I took my snowflakes off my window behind me and I was wearing summer clothes. So I was taking all the credit for the beautiful weather we were having. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I ever full of myself, right? Well, somebody's got to take credit for it. <laughs> I see Sue is here from California. Sue, we had two people from California win the drawings tonight. I'm sorry it wasn't you, but we can celebrate with those people, right? Look at how pretty that is. I love it. Okay, so for this one, I am going to grab this piece. I have no fingernails. It's kind of maddening. I think I'm going to make that just a little bit darker. Now, these were just the leftover pieces after I cut my front card panels, three and three quarters by five and a half. And I'm just going to ink those up with the Poppy Parade and put them on the inside of my card as my decoration. Ta da! Yeah, you guys know how much I love doing that, right? Here we go. Oh, and I've got Nancy here from Oklahoma. Where's everybody else coming in from? We got time right now. We could do a whole like across the world, right? I know I have a lot of people that watch me from Australia, my Aussie friends, I love them. Storm season started on the East Coast already. Oh, Tanya, I'm so sorry. Like that's such a bummer. Storms are fun when they don't create any damage. Like I shouldn't say fun. I love um, summer storms and I love snowstorms. Snowstorms tend to be a little less dangerous. Oh, we've got Elizabeth from Ohio and Linda from Minnesota. I stole Steve's um, iPad again so that I could have three devices. That's another thing about using Zoom. You need three devices to be able to spotlight different like here and then when you guys see me and I'm on the screen you need three different devices to do that so I always forget when I'm setting getting ready to set up for a Facebook live how much extra time that takes to do all the things but I took Steve's iPad again I'm gonna have to buy one I think I just need to bite the bullet and do it 
Okay, look at that. There we go. This one. Oh, and by the way, I had all of these ready to roll. So all I need to do is put them on here. Yeah, I was a thinker. So we're going to put that right here. This is the Poppy Parade one. And then I already made all these cutie patootie little bows. So I've got those ready. Where'd my glue dots go? Right here. Oh, and Tanya says snowstorms were her favorite growing up in Kansas. Yeah, I love a good thunderstorm, um, snowstorms. I lived in Missouri. My mom came home from work one day. I'm just going to put this bow sideways. The other bow, where'd my other card go? Right here. Hang on, I'm dropping things all over. And as much as you think it's going to be helpful, don't take the backing off your dimensionals until you're ready to use them because they keep sticking to everything, making me crazy. Okay, anyways, oh, I put this bow like this. I put this bow sideways. I think I like this one better. Jody's is kind of sideways on her card too. And I will show you Jody's card when we're done here. Yeah, I, I like the sideways one. I don't know, which one do you guys like? Anyways, when we lived in Missouri, my mom came home from work one day. She came squealing in the driveway and apparently, the tornado sirens were going off and I did not hear them. So I was sitting, oops, I'm going to cut this first at four inches. I was sitting on the front porch of our house, putting my tennis shoes on in the middle of summer. And my mom comes squealing in the driveway, freaking out. She's like, can't you hear that? <laughs> like, hear what? The tornado sirens were going off and there was a tornado on its way, like to our neighborhood. And so we quick ran into the um, basement. But yeah, tornadoes, tornadoes, tornadoes. Lots and lots of tornadoes where we lived. We were just south of Kansas City. But I can still remember that because my mom was just like, she gave me one of those mom voices and those mom looks like, how can my child possibly be so stupid? <laughs> like one of those. And I don't really know how it could be that stupid. <laughs> But yeah, you know, and we just heard tornado sirens all the time, like at least once a week. So it wasn't as alarming, I guess, as it is here. It's kind of like when, you know, the boy cries wolf. Well, our city wasn't crying wolf. I mean, we really did have tornadoes, but you just kind of get used to it, right? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, she gave me the, the mom look like, how could my child be so dumb? But I don't know how old I was, like probably 11 or 12. No, I had to be younger than that, maybe 10. Yeah, that's back when you could leave your kids home alone when they weren't all that old because we moved up back to Wisconsin when I was 11. So it was a good long time ago. Okay, here comes another one. We're getting really good at this, aren't we? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like storms. Like that didn't freak me out or anything. And I remember my first grade teacher, her name was Mrs. Oyster. And um, she lived in a different town, not too far from ours. And a tornado came down her street and it destroyed every single house on the street, except hers. It like jumped over her house. She was in the middle of the block. It jumped over her house and destroyed the rest of the streets. And that was just so you know, that was one of those things. And remember, she's my first grade teacher. That's one of those things that you just remember forever. Like, wow, how lucky we, were we that it didn't like, you know, destroy her house and possibly kill her or whatever. But yeah, it was just freaky. It's crazy how tornadoes can work. I just think that's so pretty, right? And it's so, so easy. So here comes my gorgeous grape. Whoops, I gotta put my ribbon on. My gorgeous grape. And you saw me on the first one. I put, I fastened that ribbon in the front. Well, on these, I just kind of forgot what I was doing. So I'm just doing it on the back and that works too. What I don't recommend you use is a tape runner to like put a tape runner there and then stick it to that. Cause I don't know if you've ever made cards up ahead of time and done that, but when you get to get ready to use them, that ribbon just falls off. It's not a good plan. I get a lot of swap cards in the mail and I find that when you use snail to attach the ribbon on the back like that, it's not a good plan because they fall apart like every time. I see that I scored this a little off. 
which I'm really good at. I don't know why I'm so challenged in scoring. We just have those things, right? That always are challenging us. Okay, here's my purple. And we're gonna put that right there. Ooh, I'm getting a little faster at these, aren't I, you guys? Debbie says they've had a little bit over four inches of rain this weekend. Yeah, I don't think we got a lot of rain. It's just kind of nasty out. And it is raining and blowing. Like I said, we have like 90 mile an hour wind here. It's really not 90. <laughs> I'm being very dramatic. But it's real windy and crummy. Isn't that cute? Now, don't let me forget to put... Um, you know, those um, pearl dotty things. <laughs> Jeez, don't let me forget to put those droplets on there. Here's our envelope for this one, okay? And then I have, I already did the envelopes. Here's the envelope for the poppy one. And then we've got our envelope for the mango one. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty, I'm in love. Okay, then now we got uh, we got Pacific Point. We'll do Pacific Point next. So I'm going to do some purple here. Who is Jackie asking if you're a demo or a customer? Jackie, I see you. Oh, to Linda. Da -da -da. There we go. I'm just kind of looking at at the comments here. I don't know what's happening there. Well, now my comments went all to went away all together. Oh, oh, Linda Bunce is a, one of my team members, Jackie. So yeah, and Linda, your um, Linda just responded to you and said actually she's a hobbyist. You are a demonstrator. What she's asking is whether you're on the Stampin' Up team or whether you're just and I shouldn't say just but just a customer. So Linda. You are a demonstrator, regardless of whether you're a discount shopper, a hobbyist, you're building a business, you're considered a demonstrator by Stampin' Up. So just so you know, somebody asks you that, you can say, yes, indeed, I am a demonstrator. So, look at how pretty, I love this. Yeah, so I can have fun with this all day. You are gonna get your fingers dirty, you guys. So just so you know that. And I'm trying to keep track. Let's see, let's do, where's my little bits? Here's my little bits. I think the next one is Pacific Point. I'm gonna give that a little bit of ink here. There we go. Here comes our white panel. Um, oh, I know, I was gonna even give you guys an update on John. <clears throat> I don't have anything like I didn't see him all weekend. I have no idea what's going on with John, none. But I can tell you the guy in our backyard, like we own his backyard. We have a really big backyard. And at some point before we bought our house, um, somebody bought his backyard because he like has hardly any backyard. We own it. We actually put a volleyball court back there when we have parties in the summer. That's how big it is. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Anyways, I don't even know his name, but um, he's building a little addition off of his garage in the back. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with it, but when I see him loading it full of stuff, I'll let you know. <laughs> and somebody else was a little, um, you know, this is just funny stuff that I'm doing. We're not, we don't stalk our neighbors or anything like that, but somebody did have a, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> stalking situation with a neighbor. And I'm so sorry for that. I really do feel for you because it's very unnerving. We had a guy that lived in our backyard, not our, he didn't live in our backyard, but his house was kitty corner in the back from ours. And we caught him several times looking out his window with binoculars, like at our house. And it was, yeah, it's kind of unnerving, but you know, Steve is pretty harmful. I mean, <laughs> harmless. <laughs> Maybe that was a little Freudian slip there. Steve's pretty harmless. He's not, <clears throat> he's not, and we're not stalking anybody. It's just something fun to do. And I think Steve gets a big kick out of it because he likes to give me the John report every day. And then we laugh and laugh and he's kind of a lunatic that way. 
but yeah, we're not stalking our neighbors. I promise you, we're, we're too busy for that. We don't have time for all that weirdness. So I want this a little bit closer. But yes, yeah, so I don't have anything to report on John. Nothing's happening there. Nothing really happened in our neighborhood at all this weekend. Um, Wisconsin got let out. Like we do not have, I don't think we have a stay at home order anymore. Now the Supreme Court decided to let everybody loose saying that the stay at home order was not legal or whatever. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter to me. I have a brand new granddaughter and our stay in place, stay at home. You know, we still have to be extremely careful. We're not going to be going nuts anytime soon because we got to be careful about Val. We don't want anything weird happening there, right? But yeah, so the Wisconsin Supreme Court said, no, nope, the, the state cannot order people to stay home that's not legal and so they 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 made that ruling and everybody was like yeah and then all the cities said nope they do have the authorization to order a stay at home <laughs> so everybody got let you know they're like yeah we can go out and do things and then the state or the city said no you can't so they only kept us locked down for a few more days trying to get measures in place for different businesses to open up and to continue to keep the keep people safe and I totally get that um that you know that needs to be a priority but my other thought was okay so you've had like three or four months to get some, I mean you, you didn't think we we're going to be locked down forever did you you've had three or four months to figure out what is the plan once we reopen the world so like, why now can't you get it together? I guess that was my initial thought. Like you've had a lot of time to think about this. And now that the, the Supreme Court says this is not constitutional or whatever they decided, I'm so not governmenty. <laughs> now you decide you need a few more days to figure out what the reopening of our cities is gonna look like. Come on. Okay, now, oh. I should do, I've got, oh, I've got this big one. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I've still got this little one here. So I'm gonna cut this in a couple four inches. Yeah. Oh, and Pamela's saying the DFW, What? I don't know what that means. DFW, what is that, Pamela? Is cracking down again. The COVID-19 rate is getting higher. Yeah, well, you know, I. I that's kind of yeah I mean it's a it's a thing like how's that gonna work I don't know I'm gonna do this one in granny apple green because that's the color of our card base I don't know exactly how that's gonna go that reminds me I need to call my mom I haven't talked to her in a couple days I usually call her every couple days she's got my sister and my sister's kids with her so that keeps her pretty busy. And I don't know about you guys, but you know how you call somebody and they're talking to everybody on the phone, but you, the kids are like, grandma, grandma, mama. Yeah, I don't have a lot of patience with that. So that's kind of the way it goes when I call there now and I don't like it. But I did tell my mom, like me and my mom have a good relationship and I, you know, if there's something on her mind, I want her to tell me. And if there's something on my mind, I will tell her. So I told her, I said, you know, when I call you, the kids are constantly talking to you and you don't have any manners. And I think you need to work on that. And she goes, oh, yeah, I think you're right. So there we go. Nobody got mad. Nobody was offended. It is what it is. It's the truth. And uh, then the next time I called her, it was better. <laughs> so see how that works? You know how you call the person and they're yelling at them. My mom isn't yelling at those kids. People are yelling at their kids and whatever. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to listen to that. I, I, that's annoying as you know what. Okay, so here's our garden green. And then here's my little glue dot. Put that way. Whoops. Get it on here instead of my finger. Yeah, somebody's, Jackie's talking about um, being a demo under a different upline in order to rejoin under a different upline. Yeah, you have to wait 90 days. Stampin' Up! does not like people jumping team leaders. 
and that kind of just helps that whole situation. And I don't want to be known as a person that is stealing people away from other people either. So just know that that that's that's. I mean, I get it if you're if you don't have an upline anymore, if your team leader quit or whatever. Maybe you need more out of your demonstratorship. I understand that, but. Yeah, it's a tricky situation. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. Okay, we have one more, just one. Where's my paper? Right here. And then we're gonna put all those frosted and clear epoxy droplets on. Are you guys doing okay? Are you still hanging in there? My, my messages aren't scrolling and I'm sponging. So it's really hard to see <laughs> messages. So just know that. Mm. And then I'm going to show you the whole rainbow of colors. Then I'm going to show you if you have any of the um, flowering foils, specialty paper that was part of, wasn't it part of celebration? Gosh, seems like years ago that we had celebration. Jody used that to make her beautiful card. And she also used, I believe, the stamp set that I'm giving away tonight. Yeah, she used the I Miss Your Face in the tags in bloom. So I'll show you her card. We're almost finished here. What time is it? 8.05. We're doing really good. Yay. Gosh, I just love this mango melody coming in here with that lighter orange, right? Isn't that pretty? Now, if you don't happen to have some of this paper, this is the Ornate Garden Specialty Paper. You can absolutely take and like a big floral background stamp. This would be beautiful. And we do have a background stamp. I was thinking that what would I use? I have the breathtaking bouquet background stamp. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this. You could stamp this and you could emboss it. You could use clear embossing powder. You could use silver. You could use gold. And you could do the same thing after you heat emboss it, you guys. Ah! That was just like an aha moment. Oh, I got to do my little strip here. I want to make sure I use this bigger one. And this is our yellow paper. So I'm going to cut this on. This was one inch. And this was, again, just one of the scraps when we cut our paper. So I think we'll do the yellow on here. Now, when I put these sponges away, the next time I need a sponge that is any kind of yellow, I'll just grab this one because it'll be dry and I can use it again. Or like I said before, you can certainly take and take your sponges to the sink and wash them out and let them dry and then put them away and you can reuse them, you know, however you want. I could certainly take my yellow sponge after it dries and put it in a darker color, but I would never take the purple one and try to put it in yellow later because it, it's you're going to get some of that purple color off of there. <clears throat> what do you guys have for supper? I didn't eat yet, but Steve had. Um, we bought some enchiladas like an enchilada bake at Costco. So we had that yesterday for a late lunch and then I ate it for supper and I think I had it for an er earlier today for lunch and I'll probably eat that again for supper because there's I think there's still some left. And then he bought some marinating chicken wings. He's got honey barbecue and some in a hot sauce. So I'm excited about that because I love chicken wings and I like the bone in ones. I know that grosses a lot of people out, but I don't know, there's just something about it. Good chicken wing. My dad loved chicken wings. Me and him, we would always eat all the chicken wings when we had chicken. That was back before, you know, you didn't really just buy wings or legs or whatever. You just got a whole chicken in a package. <laughs> That's how old I am. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I was looking to see if I had another bow, but I think I, I think I didn't make enough. So we're going to make another one here. One, two, Three. I just wrap it around three times, cross it over, one goes under, over, and then you tie it in a single knot. <clears throat> now remember, if you want to see a video tutorial on this, you can go to my YouTube channel. So you just click on YouTube, and then you do a search for Kelly Atchison. And once it pops me up there, you choose me, and then it's going to take you to a screen where you click on videos. And then there's a little search bar there with that little magnifying glass in the corner. 
and you can type in there search words. And the word that you're looking for to search for is bow jig, J-I-G. Okay, let's get this on here. And you'll find a video that shows you exactly how to tie ribbon bows and it tells you some details about the bow jig. But I do not sell them and I'm not interested in it at all. <laughs> like you can make your own. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Here's our daffodil delight. I got my mini glue dot waiting here. Here comes my cutie patootie. Is it just the cutest little thing? And I wrapped it around there three times, so it's pretty substantial. That just makes your bow more substantial. Oops, here we go. And now we're going to <clears throat> take, oh, and here's the inside. There's our yellow on the inside. Here's our cute little yellow envelope. And now I'm gonna add a bunch of these little dealy whoppers. And a little one. And a little one. I like the way Jody did hers. So I'm gonna do mine the same way. Look at how cool that is. It just like really does it, right? Here comes our garden. Let me get this yucky thing out of here. Our garden green. I mean, our granny apple green. It's not garden green. It's not even close to garden green. There we go. So yeah, yesterday I had um, Andy came over to help me. I had her punching and die cutting pieces for the uh, country club and the by the dock uh, cool kit classes that I'm gonna get out in the mail tomorrow. So there's like a ton and a half of product all over the kitchen. I emptied out all the boxes, so that was good. So we had boxes all over the place. And I'm going to be getting those compiled after I get all of this up on my blog. Well, I don't know if I'll get this up on my blog, but I'll put all the dimensions and stuff in a product list in above this Facebook video when I'm done here. So you, oops, <laughs> so you have that right away. And by the way, if anybody's interested in placing an order, this is my current host code. When you go to the Stampin' Up! online store, and you buy some things and put them in your cart, you need to sign in. So create an account if you don't have one. And then once you sign in, when you put things in your cart and you go to view your cart, it's gonna ask you if you have a host code. That's what this is right here. You can always find that on my blog. It's at the bottom of every blog post or it's in um, the right-hand column if you happen to be looking from a computer. It's, it's in different places all over the place, depending on what kind of device you're using, which is a little maddening, right? Because that's a lot to try and it's different on an iPad, it's different on a phone, it's different on a laptop, what else? Probably different on a tablet. That just gets so crazy. Just gonna get some of these out of here now. But anyways, that's my monthly host code. It's not monthly, it's my current host code. I do change it sometimes more than once a month. You'll also find my blog right here at www.astampabove.com. That's where you can just scroll through it for days on end. There's a ton of stuff. I've been blogging since 2007, you guys. That is a long, long time. And there's a gazillion projects on there to keep you happy for years. <laughs> Look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I just love them. Jody Peterson, thank you so much for this amazing idea. Absolutely beautiful. I have to remember to not move too fast on Zoom because it doesn't, doesn't take the pixelating very well. Now, this is the card that Jody made for me. And isn't that cute? She used the silver edge metallic ribbon and she used these flowering foil specialty designer series paper. So if you have some of this, this is a great thing. There were two different patterns in there, I think with the silver foil. And again, that um, tags in bloom stamp set that I am sending out as a prize. But isn't this fun? Like, I love this. I just thought it was such a cool idea. And now I have six cards and again, depending on what I need, I can go in here and put a happy birthday. Um, I can put a 
graduation. I could put anything in here. I could put a thank you, celebrating you, a congratulations, just about anything, right? Yeah, just about anything will work. And I'll have a card when I'm ready. So, yay! Okay. I'm going to look and see now if you guys had any questions. Julie says she will be making some of these cards. It was really fun. You do get a little dirty, so just be aware of that and make sure you get your lava soap to get that ink off your hands because lava soap works really good. But I do baby wipes right here at my desk so I don't get make a mess on everything else, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm over talking to this other camera, sorry. <laughs> It's a lot of things. I don't know if I can cut out for three devices at once. <laughs> Vicky says, do you delete any of your blog, blog videos? Never, no. And they're on YouTube forever. So I actually, when I'm done with a, when I'm done making a video or with a Facebook Live, Facebook Live, I'll download it to my computer and then I upload it to YouTube. So it's there forever because I have had some of my Facebook Lives disappear. So I make sure as soon as we're done that I am downloading it to my computer. So if it disappears, it doesn't matter. But that happened twice and it was quite maddening. And again, I don't know why, except that Facebook hates me. <laughs> That's a little dramatic too. Facebook doesn't even know who I am. But I did try to um, place an ad with them the other day. I pay the money to advertise for me and they rejected my ad for no reason. Yeah. So no. I do not delete blog blog post videos ever. Thank you, Darlene. Darlene says, Darlene and Paula both say lovely cards, love the cards. Thank you guys so much. Um, I am looking at comments right now. And don't forget to share this video. That really helps me out if you came in late. This is a great way to do the emboss resist technique. If you don't happen to have any of the foiling paper, what did I do with that stamp set that has the, all the background? Um, here it is, the breathtaking bouquet. Okay, this is a fabulous stamp set. You can do the same thing. You can just emboss this, emboss this with Versamark ink. You can use clear embossing powder. You can use um, silver, gold, whatever color you want, and then come in and do your sponging and have the same result with a big background stamp like this. So this one's called Breathtaking Bouquet. It is in the um, spring mini catalog and I'm pretty sure it's retiring. Let me grab my old trusty catalog. Oh, and I have good news for you guys. Um, I did open up my catalog finally. Yay! Oh, this is the wrong one. Um, I did open it and I got about a third of the way through it before I had to stop goofing around and get back to work. <laughs> but I did get to look through it and I was just like, oh. And then I turned the page and I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm looking for that background stamp. I'm pretty sure that is retiring. Did anybody tell me that it is? You guys are always so helpful. Oh, Nancy says that these cards would make a lovely gift. They really would. They would be quite a substantial gift for anybody. Oh, the birthday Jubilee stamp set is the one that I use the greeting from. This one is retiring. Yeah, as well as I've got the dies circled there too. These beautiful dies right here that go with that. Look at what they do. Whoops, over here. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh, love those. I made some really pretty cards with them. And I'm not finding, oh wait, was that it? Yes, it is. It is retiring, you guys. It's right here on page 31, right there. Yep. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I wasn't lying to you. I don't wanna be that person. Oh, Haley, what's happening? I see Debbie says she's not paying attention to us. No, I'm doing all the things. Uh, the waffle recipe, is that what you guys are talking about? I put it on my Facebook page. So when you guys came in here, if you're seeing all your comments, you should see something with the title, a stamp above dash your creative coach. That is the title of my business page. When you click that after we're done, 
it's going to take you to that page where you can scroll through and just look for pictures of waffles. I think that's what you're talking about, isn't it? Uh, Joe loves the triple bow. Yeah, I love the triple bow. And it's really great with um, Baker's twine. You make it so much, you could do more than three. You could do like five or six with Baker's twine and then you fan them out. Oh, so cool. Okay. I think nails for Haley in the AM. Oh, she's getting her nails done. Hers are really bad. Or is dad doing it? Are we going to have Linda do the nails? Haley calls Steve Linda now because he ground her nails down. Haley says, Val and I come over tomorrow morning and you make breakfast after your Zoom. I need dad to do my nails. Okay, so I have a Zoom, I think tomorrow morning at 1030, Haley. I am actually um, on a panel for a leadership conference. I was supposed to be there this last weekend as a presenter, but of course with the COVID deal, we had to put it all online. So at 1030, I have to do a session for about 45 minutes. So we can certainly have breakfast after that. I would be happy to make you breakfast. I don't know if we have any sausage, but I can get some bacon out. How about that? Yeah. And your dad should be able to do your nails. <laughs> Linda, we call him. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, I think that was the question that Haley was asking. <laughs> okay, Haley needs waffles and a nail job from dad in the AM. Thank you so much. Yeah, Linda can take care of your nails. And if he can't, I'll try it. That scares me though. Before the Zoom, before 1030, maybe. I'm going to be up late tonight, so I don't know. Why don't you just message me in the morning? You can just come over. How about that? Okay. All right, you guys. I think we're good. And Rebecca says hello from lockdown, Virginia. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we just got let loose for the most part. So I hope people don't go crazy, though, because we don't want this coming back again. People need to be careful and use common sense, I think. Yeah, so whatever. To each his own. You can't, yeah, you can't control all the people, right? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go because I have to go get, I'm gonna go do a little refill here. And I might have to go potty. <laughs> yeah, and Chris just brought the burgers on with her son-in-law and grandson, so she missed me. Darn it, Chris, I'll just watch the replay. I'm almost done. Thank you, Lisa, you have a good night too. And um, who wants to know? Deanne wants to know if Linda can do her nails too. I'm sure he probably would. We could start farming him out a new career, perhaps. Could always use extra money, right? <laughs> Good night, you guys. Have a great week. Um, today's Sunday. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'll have a Facebook Live for you guys tomorrow, sometime probably in the evening, afternoon. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, I have to figure out how to do this the right way because that hasn't been working real good. Um, I don't know. Hmm.